You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Look! My family's been fighting them for centuries. In 2021, fans of the Frank Herbert sci-fi novel Dune didn't know what to expect from the French-Canadian director Denis Villeneuve. What we got back then was a larger-than-life epic story of family, power, love, and prophecy. Fast forward to today, and Dune Part 2 is bigger and bolder and even more epic than before, maybe too epic in some ways. It's a story about battling factions of nomads and royals, of ancient feuds and civil wars. As a young warrior who survived an attack that wiped out most of his family who ruled the desert planet, seeks revenge. And that is the most bare bones explanation of what this movie is about. And believe me, there is almost nothing that is bare bones about this movie. Nothing fancy. I understand. The stories are multi-layered and super complex based on the original novel without much left out. Fans should be able to follow along, but if you're a newcomer to all of this, fully expect to get lost in the names and places and mythologies. It's like they're speaking a foreign language. And if you're not familiar with the book or you haven't seen part one, forget about it entirely. That said, it's not completely impossible to follow along. Although I had to see the movie twice in order to absorb what was being thrown at me. Should you really have to see a movie more than once to get what's going on? All of that said, Dune Part 2 is one of the most visually beautiful movies that I've ever seen. Incredible sand-swept cinematography with overwhelmingly original sights and technologies and even creatures. Visually, it reminded me of the first time that I saw a Star Wars movie. The creativity here is stunning. But at the end of the day for me, it's always about story. And as best as I could decipher, the formula for this one is that good people and good intentions are battling evil for the world as they know it. As impressive as the look of this efficiently made two and a half hour saga is, the galaxy of superstars contained in it shine the brightest. At the top of the list is the impressive Timothy Chalamet, leading the pack as the reluctant young rebel. Zendaya expands her presence here into a more powerful force. Elvis star Austin Butler plays it deliciously evil with Javier Bardem, Florence Pugh, Josh Brolin, Christopher Walken, Dave Batista, each adding something special. So for now, enjoy part two, do your homework before you go, pay close attention, and see it on as big of a screen as possible for maximum visual impact. I give it a Dean's List A-. minus. Well, you can always get my weekly movie reviews sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by the Lyric Opera of Chicago, presenting Aida on stage March 9th through April 7th. Get tickets at lyricopera.org. And I hope you have a great weekend. Dean Richards, WGN News.